Hey guys, in my previous tutorial I used layer masks for erasing and I thought I'd make another video to explain how this works. And I've got two pictures here, one of a little kid's foot and one of a field with a ball in it. And I want this ball to be behind this kid's foot, sticking out a bit. So I'm going to go to my ellipse tool and make a selection around the ball. A round selection. I'm going to zoom in a bit so I can see it a little bit better. And I think this is about fine. It doesn't need to be perfect. And then I'm going to go to Edit, Copy. And in this image go to Edit, Paste. And then there will be a floating selection. And you create a new layer to make it a normal layer. Then go to your Move tool. And I'm going to move this up till about here. So it will be sort of sticking out from behind the kid's foot. And then I'm going to use the... Uh, layer mask to erase part of the ball by right clicking on the pasted layer with the ball in it and clicking on add layer mask and then I'm going to take white full opacity and click add and then there will be a layer mask next to this layer and that means that it's masking the layer but currently it's not masking but we're going to paint on it part of it with black and then it will be masking the layer and it will look like it has been erased I'm going to go to my paint tool and paint it out and you can see the kid's foot appearing and what you can see on the mask is that there will be there's been painted on with black here but the ball is still intact and by the way you know when you're painting on the mask if there is a white line around it because then the mask is active and when you click on your layer the layer is active and you can see it by the white line around it but I want to paint on my mask so make this active and I'm going to paint some more to get the ball gone completely or to make his feet show or her feet I'm not sure if it's a boy or a girl and oh boy I went too far and this is not a problem when you're working with a layer mask because you can just paint it back in with white make white your foreground color and I'm going to zoom in a bit and then paint with white where you went too far and I'm almost there and I'm just gonna pretend this is perfect and zoom out to 100% again and then I can right click on the layer mask and click apply layer mask and then the ball part will be erased and you're done and this is how layer masks work if you want to use them for erasing so I hope you liked this video and if you did maybe you'd like to watch my other videos and subscribe. Thank you for watching.